Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me. One, I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit weird. I don't really know what's going on to be honest. Um, there is like a major bunch of light reflecting off my neighbor's roof and it reflects right into my filming room. So I think that's why there's so much shadow and stuff behind me. So I'm sorry about that, but there's not much I can do about it. Um, also, I'm sorry if you can hear Bella snoring in the background because she is having a nap. So I did this look the other day when I went out. I was in a rush and I wanted to put something on that looked nice to go out. And I came up with this and I actually really, really liked how it turned out. So I'm going to recreate it today. I'm going to start off with my model's preferred perfect canvas mattifying primer. I'm just going to squirt a bit of this on my finger and then I tap it onto the areas where I need it. And then I go in and I blend it in. So Vince and I are moving extremely soon, um, next weekend I go to Melbourne so that is really really exciting and then after that Vince and I are off to Bali so let me know if you want me to vlog either of those. I'm more than happy to vlog those kind of experiences um, and upload them here if you guys would like to see them. Next I'm going in with my Garnier BB Cream, this is a Miracle Skin Perfecta. Um, so yeah, we're moving house and this is, it's really exciting because we are moving into a nicer house. I might do a, uh, house tour for you guys while it's quite, um, empty because we are slowly moving our stuff in. So I'm trying to pre-film quite a few videos that I will then upload, um, while I'm away and while we're moving and stuff. I'm really sorry that I didn't get a video up um, yesterday because, or on Monday I guess by the time you see this because I'm filming this on Tuesday, um, because Vince has been really really sick lately and we've been going to the doctors for him pretty much every day, getting him different antibiotics and like x-rays and scans and stuff so hopefully he um, we find out what's going on with that. So now that I have a layer of that BB cream on my skin, I'm going to go in with a little bit more and apply it to my cheeks because that is where I have quite a bit of redness. And a little bit more on my forehead because I have really bad skin at the moment. I don't know if it's the stress of like moving and all of that or what, I'm not really sure, but... Alright, so I just blend that in um, and I try and focus it on my cheeks to create kind of another layer. Um, so yeah, where that's going to be exciting moving. Um, so you guys will soon see a different background to what you see here behind me now. So I'm really looking forward to it actually. The house right now has been good. But it's just like expensive and it isn't quite an old house so we're looking forward to kind of upgrading to something a bit newer. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the colour 15 Fair and I'm applying this under my eyes in a triangular motion and I'm just blending it in with my fingers making sure to get it right into the inner corner. And then lately I've really been loving using a dry sponge. This is the Miracle Complexion sponge and just tapping that I just found it removes any like excess kind of oil and just helps that like, blend it in for the last stage. Then I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just because I'm trying to use this up and I'm using my Models Preferred Powder and Bronzer Brush and I'm starting off under my eyes to set that concealer. I do find with this Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, if I don't set it like straight away, it does crease. And then I'm just going to dust some of that on the rest of my face, just really lightly. Then I'm going to add some warmth back to my skin. So I'm going to use my Astralis Bronzing Powder in Golden. And I'm using the same brush. And I'm just applying this to bronze up my face. 
I'm not contouring, I'm just kind of overall bronzing to give me like a sun-kissed glow. Then I'm going to go in with my Astralis AC Onku Tour Kit and I'm going to use this colour up here which is shade 5 and I'm going to apply this to as a contour so just with the very point of this brush just applying it in the hollows of my cheeks and then I'm using kind of like the side of the brush to blend it out. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. small tapered face brush and I'm going to use this yellow colour which is shade 2 and I'm going to apply this under my eyes on top of that Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I find that I can't set with this yellow powder because it doesn't, um, it doesn't like set my concealer. I need to use it afterwards. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and I'm just going to settle down all those powders. Don't spray this when your mouth is open. It does not end well. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Brow Kit in Ash. I have been absolutely loving this. It is amazing, and I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to just apply this with a 217 brush really really like kind of roughly into the crease and i am kind of doing windshield wiper motions and i'm just blending it up um so yeah life is pretty intense at the moment i'm Found out my placement for uni, which is really exciting. Um, and then going in with the next matte colour, it's just a little bit darker and I'm going to build up that intensity. Um, so that's exciting. It is going to be stressful and whatever I have to teach almost full time. So it's going to be pretty stressful, but I'm really excited about doing it. It is obviously what I'm passionate about otherwise I wouldn't be studying it or at least you'd hope I wouldn't be studying it so then I'm going in with the MAC shadow in the color espresso it's just this kind of like warm toned darker brown and I'm taking some of this on my brush and I'm applying it to the outer corner at first and then I'm going to blend it a little bit into the crease I want most of that intensity to be on this outer corner. And I'm just slowly building that up until I'm happy with it. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC 224 brush and blend all of that out. I'm really loving using matte shadows in my kind of crease and outer corner lately. It's just been something I'm into. Then I'm going to take this shadow here. This is 07 from Ingela. And I'm just going to use it on a flat shader brush. And I'm going to pick some up on my brush. And I'm then going to spray it with my Elf setting spray. And I'm going to apply this to my eyelid. And it just creates this really, really intense gold that I love. And I am taking it all the way in to that inner corner. And then I'm going to go back in with my 224 and blend out that edge. I'm going to apply some mascara next. I'm going to use my Face of Australia Impact Curl Mascara. And I'm just going to put this on my top lashes. This is one of my all-time favourite mascaras. But I hate the smell of it. The smell is friggin' ridiculous. 
I'm going to go in with whatever's left on my 217 brush and brush this under my lower lash line. I literally have the worst, like, eye makeup face ever. I cannot keep my mouth closed. I don't know why, but if I don't open my mouth, I can't open my eyes. It's really, really stupid. And I'm going to apply a coat of mascara. To my lower lashes. Then I'm going to go in with blush. So I'm going to go back with my Models Preferred Powder and Bronzer brush. I absolutely love this brush. If you live in Australia and have Models Preferred, can go to a prize line, pick up this brush. It is friggin' amazing. Um, I'm using my e.l.f. BYS blusher in Candy Floss today. I like this because it's just a really like natural pink flush. And then it gives you the option to wear whatever lip colour you would like. I also really like it because it is so light, you kind of like can't go wrong with it and it's got a bit of a sheen so you don't have to wear a highlight if you don't want to. Then on the night I wore my Astralis Colour Inject Mineral Lipstick in the colour Mambo which is just a really nice nude but I think today I want to make this look a little bit more dramatic, so I'm going to apply a dark lip colour. So I'm going to start off with a lip pencil. I'm using my Astralis lip pencil in the colour Vibe. It's just a really dark colour. And then I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Lipstick in Hot Kiss. It's just this really dark kind of brown in colour. And then I'm going to do one last spray with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And this is the final look. I hope you guys liked this look. I know it's kind of simple, but it's just something I've been wearing a lot lately and I wanted to share it with you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! A little bit with the Astralis AC on to look.